Hello everyone, it's PC Helper here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix couldn't start error for the game Valorant with few simple steps. All you have to do is just watch this video till the end and follow each and every step very carefully to fix this problem. So just before starting, subscribe to my channel right now for regular gaming content related to this game and many other games. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first step is a really important one. In this, you have to clean boot your PC. For many users, just clean booting their PC helps them in fixing this problem. As clean booting refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software conflicts in your PC. But if you don't know how to clean boot your PC, I've already made a guide, a really quick guide on how to clean boot your PC. I'll provide you the description link of this video in the description of this video. Just click on the link of that video. See this video, clean boot your PC and proceed to the second step. Second step. This is the step which is working for most of the user. All you have to do is just right click on your Valorant shortcut and go to its properties. In properties go to compatibility and here disable full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator. Apply these settings and click on OK. Now go to your file explorer and go to your games directory. So for most of the people, by default the games directory is in C drive and there will be a folder named Riot Games. But for me, the games directory is in new volume D, Riot Games because I used custom installation. So just go to your games directory in Riot Games, go to Valorant, go to live, in live go to shooter game, in shooter game go to binaries and in binaries go to win64. Here what you have to do is right click on Valorant win64 shipping and go to its properties. Wait for it to load and go to its compatibility and make sure this is not ticked in this one. For example, if by default it's, it is on run this program as an administrator, you have to untick it. It is just the opposite of what we did with the desktop shortcut. So make sure that it is unticked here. Apply this setting, click on OK and then try running your game. Most probably your problem will be fixed. But if it's still not fixed, proceed to the next step. If the first two steps didn't work for you, then proceed to this third step in which we will be downloading DirectX. So search on Google Download DirectX and go to this first link by Microsoft.com. Once you click on this, you will be redirected to this page. Here it is. Not this one, this one. And here select Download. DirectX End User Runtime Web Installer and click on Download. And soon your DX Web Setup will be installed. So in my Download Manager, I have got DX Web Setup. All I have to do is just run it. And as soon as you will run it, you will be on this screen. In this screen, select I accept the agreement, click on next, I won't be installing the Bing bar, click on next and its installation has been started. So I will be cancelling the installation as I have already downloaded DirectX on my PC. But you just try installing DirectX, if, if the installation is successful then it means it might work for you. Restart your PC after installation then try running your game and most probably your problem will be fixed. So I hope this helped you. If this works for you, please leave a like on this video. If you have any doubt, write in the comment section. And also don't forget to subscribe for regular gaming content. Thank you and have a nice day.